Well, polyphonia is actually all about that. Our AI processes allow us to, to, to take a step back and look at collections at a, at a, at a larger scale. Um, but then, uh, besides the matter of scale, I think it's also um, a conceptual difference that, that, that we can see new things and we can look in new ways uh, at different aspects and, and be surprised by what we, what we find and what we can see. So I think there's a lot of value that AI can help us um, unveil in, uh, in European musical cultural heritage. Um, as long as we think of AI in combination with, uh, with human intelligence, right? So if we think of ways of, um, of using AI, right? For discovering new things that we didn't know about uh, music collections uh, in European institutions, many of them represented in, in polyphonia. So ways of doing this would be for AI to help musicians into creating different and novel uh, uh, musical contributions, right, and, and, and artistic work. AI uh, is very powerful technology, is changing uh, several industries, one of them for sure is music industry. I think that at the moment we, 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 see, uh, we see only a little part a little step that this technology can do. I mean, uh, for instance, we have uh, listening suggestions that are related only uh, to our the songs we like, but uh, in the future, this, uh, this, uh, the AI can analyze also other aspects of, this, this, of the music, like lyrics, uh, scales, tones, so we can receive uh, better suggestions, uh, not only related to what we like. So uh, it's going to be very interesting to see in the future. In, in my opinion, uh, the main uh, aspect of AI, the main contribution of AI, would be accessibility to music because music is accessible in many forms: audio, video, music scores, in textual data, and we need to be able, we would need to be able to to, to glue together and to be able to navigate from one form to the uh, to the other and to manipulate all these various content in a uniform way, a consistent way. The downside is that uh, we really need uh, to look inside these collections uh, and I, uh, artificial intelligence is one of the way and uh, one of the vectors uh, for transcribing these documents. Uh, there are however really huge challenges for example in, uh, when it comes to um, optical recognition of scores. Uh, this still remains a big challenge. Artificial intelligence technologies uh, can help analyzing uh, heterogeneous sources, so with different approaches. When we, uh, when we extract information and knowledge relevant from these sources, we can put them together in, uh, in a network of, um, of data that we call knowledge graphs.